Robots have come a long way since the dirty, grimy jobs that they first started out doing. Now we're looking at a very different world with autonomous mobile robots. So these are robots which are free to roam around the factory and are able to move of their own accord. So it's a very different world from the standard robot. Today we're going to talk to Mr Matt Rowlands. He's an autonomous mobile robot specialist and we're going to see how technology is transforming robotic mobility. So, Matt, what are the major developments taking place in mobile robot technology? Thank you. I think the, the first point is flexibility. Um, it, it's providing a lot more flexibility. It's um, making robots easier, more accessible uh, to many people. So how do we make that easier to use? How do we make it easier to program? Um, and uh, finally, really, I think it, it's cost. It's about driving those costs down and making it more affordable uh, for, for people to, to implement. Yeah, no, makes sense. So demand for mobile robots in the UK right now, what's driving the demand? I think uh, main demand is, um, well, firstly, uh, we have a shortage uh, of labour, uh, so how do we combat that? Mobile Robotics helps us with that. Um, we have the need to be able to be, as we mentioned, to be flexible. We're seeing a lot of, of cells uh, that are a lot more fragmented. People want their processes broken up. People want to be able to change the flow very easily. Uh, people don't want to be landlocked in with uh, heavy duty conveyors yeah. that create uh, a, a lot of disruption. And, and, and that, I think, mobile robotics help us be able to, to achieve those ends. Yeah, no, that's, that's, that's quite interesting. So in terms of the sectors you're selling most mobile robots to, I'm sure there must be some that are buying more than others. Can, can you give an example of an application? Yes, yeah, certainly. I think that the biggest sector is automotive, the same as it with, with main robots. Yeah. Uh, but I think the really interesting part for us is, is the more general industry that we would call sort of outside of automotive. And we're seeing sort of smaller businesses starting to adopt. We're starting to see people who want that flexibility to be able to uh, move parts around through different processes, so we call an interrupt process, so taking a product from A to B to C to D, um, and this kind of delivery, and people who want to be able to deliver things to a line uh, from, from a, a buffer storage area and reduce the space that they need uh, on the line for, for, for products. Okay, so that's really quite interesting because that would change a lot of traditional approach, maybe, and open up new opportunities, so it, it does it does open a, a different parameter there, doesn't it? Yeah, it certainly does. And I think one of the big things, um, you know, we talked earlier about some of the advancements that we've had in technology, if we sort of open that up a little bit. So we have um, AI that's yeah. now um, in incorporated within a lot of uh, the, the technology. So certainly the AVB um, robots, they have AI built into to take a lot of that laborious tasks of programming. So where we, we scan an environment and, and removing the objects that might be a bit more dynamic, um, which, which helps us not only uh, for ease of programming, but also makes it more suitable for uses in, uh, in places that are more dynamic, where you've got people, where we've got pallets that move. So, so that the, the AMRs learn their environments and they continually get better. So that makes them more reliable. It right. makes them easier to program as well as, uh, as being more accurate as well. Yeah, no, that's quite interesting. So mobile robots um, meeting the challenges faced by your customers. So can you just highlight again for us the challenges that people are faced with this? Yeah, I think some of the challenges that, that, that certainly I've seen, um, if we look at companies that have um, delivery needs to, to the line, as we mentioned before, so the space constraints is, is, one, is one big challenge, right. particularly in the UK where we perhaps have smaller factories than, we, than some of our European counterparts. Um, every, all that space is precious. So with mobile robotics, it means that we can deliver, we can have less stock against the line. Right. We can deliver it on time, every time. So it means we reduce the amount of stock we need on the, on the line, which increases the space, the, the production space, which is obviously more valuable. Right, okay. Just a just point, Matt, uh, I mean, this sounds very sophisticated, so that makes me immediately feel it's probably quite expensive. 
Yeah, and this is the this is the beauty of uh, this new technology. As the technology is evolving, same with any uh, form of IT, it's getting more cost effective. Okay. But the biggest point is, if you look at the cost of any robotic system, traditionally the installation cost, that overall system cost, is the biggest part of it. The actual hardware has always actually been relatively modest. Mm. Where because we're making the systems easier to program, we're making it accessible to a, a much more people, it means that actually that high co proportion of the cost that's installation, programming, commissioning reduces massively, even to the point where um, a, a relative novice engineer would be able to set up and program the system. So cost, what you're suggesting there is cost may not be the issue. No, not at all. And you're also suggesting the ease of programming as well. So are you suggesting a Luddite such as myself could potentially program. Well, I'm not them. sure we'd say Luddite, but uh, <laughs> but uh, certainly I would welcome you to try uh, the opportunity. We can try and see uh, how you get on. Okay. Well, I accept your challenge, and what we'll do is we'll film this separately. You can see how I get on with that. Thank you, Matt, because what you've explained there about what's happening in this market is a really quite a critical and important part of UK manufacturing going forward. So, if you'd like to find out more about autonomous mobile robots. Uh, why not talk to Matt and the team here at ABB Robotics? There'll be a QR code that you can scan to access more information, but it's an exciting part of what is being developed and what we will have in our future. Thanks very much for watching. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.